I've always been an avid hunter. It's been my long-standing passion. After getting married, I started going on hunting trips less frequently, but I couldn't completely give it up. My wife had no issues with my hobby, as long as it was kept in moderation. Our family was fairly happy until a certain point. I'm not the type to lie around on the couch playing video games endlessly. I never shirk my household responsibilities. I often cook dinner myself. We spent most of our weekends together. However, we were also okay spending time apart. I could go out with friends to a bar or go hunting. Marina used that time to hang out with her friends. But it seems I missed something on that day when I went hunting. There were no signs of trouble. Everything was normal. My wife helped me pack my backpack we talked and joked. I'm looking forward to your catch maybe you'll treat me to something delicious. You know, I don't settle for light meals, she said, half jokingly adding, or we can go to a restaurant as compensation. I went hunting with two of my friends, Nick and Oleg. Nick brought along a good buddy of his, Anthony. The weather was excellent. We planned to spend three days hunting. We knew the place as well, where to spend the night, who we could stay with. We had tents with us. And so, we sat around the campfire after dinner. We had a bit to drink, and for some reason, Anthony decided to open up and he chose to confide in me. Why he made that choice is still a mystery to me. His story was as old as time. He and his wife had long lost any connection, living like neighbors. Out of boredom, he decided to have an affair. They used to work together, they had to be discreet. But a few months ago, he got transferred to a company branch, and now they had no fear of being exposed. She was married, but it suited him well. Honestly, I found it boring to listen to this. Self-taught Casanova. But my upbringing prevented me from just dismissing him. And then, Anthony started describing his mistress. Apparently, at that moment, my face displayed pure sarcasm. Considering Anthony wasn't exactly a genius and wasn't particularly attractive either. Are you not believing me? My disbelief clearly fueled him. At that moment, he started searching for his phone. I'll show you her photos now, and you'll see what a beauty she is. She even posed specifically for me, he said. He got his phone out, rummaged through it, and handed it to me. When I took it and looked at the screen, all my emotions merged into a huge knot. Anger, shock, surprise, hatred, and incomprehension. The pictures displayed were of Marina. My Marina, in a semi-nude state. I stood there with the phone in my hands for a few seconds and didn't hear what Anthony was saying. After that, the phone flew into the fire. Anthony tried to lunge at me, shouting, but he got thrown back to the tent. I had no intention of fighting, but he was quite aggressive. Well, that's understandable. His phone was definitely beyond repair. Nick and Oleg separated us. When Anthony finally realized that it was my wife, his anger seemed more stunned than anything. How was I supposed to know she was your wife? He was mumbling something, but it came out poorly. I warned him not to come near me again if he didn't want to lose something else, apart from his phone. When our friends found out what had happened, they took him away from me. I didn't sleep the whole night I sat by the fire. In the morning, we all headed home. How could there be any continuation of the hunting trip after that? And when I got home, Marina was very surprised. You're back so early? What happened? Nothing special happened. I just met your lover on the hunt, and he was singing your praises. Are you kidding? What kind of jokes are these? Unfortunately, I was as truthful as ever. She listened to me without a word. So what now? She finally asked. Nothing. It's over. We're getting a divorce. 
I don't need a wife like you. So you're just going to erase everything we had? You're ending our relationship just like that? Yes, you erased it yourself when you started an affair. She went to another room and closed the door. Apparently, she thought I'd soften up and come to reconcile. At that moment, I didn't want to see her or hear her. After sitting in the room for a while, she came out. She probably realized that her resentment trick didn't work. I'll give you a couple of days. Pack your things and leave my apartment. And tomorrow, I'll file for divorce. In response to my words, there was crying and lamenting but I didn't care anymore. We got divorced fairly quickly. My ex-wife moved in with her parents. Her father met up with me and asked why we got divorced. Marina had told him that I found a mistress and kicked her out. He met with me and I told him everything. I don't know if he believed me or not. In principle, it doesn't matter. He's a good person. My ex-wife lived with her parents for a while, then moved to another city. As far as I know, she found a good job and lives without problems. I don't wish her any ill, I don't wish her anything at all. She's become an empty space for me.